I came in new to the School of Engineering and I found a school in fabulous shape. The challenge then is to look to the future because the great engineering school of 20 years from now looks different from the way we look today. And so I wanted to set in place a process that would help us understand where did we want to be in 20 years? We have a fabulous faculty and it's a young faculty. We turned them loose. We wanted to be able to represent the broader um, School of Engineering, so we made a call for new ideas to sort of have a bottoms-up approach, um, and we received about 90 proposals. What the Stanford Engineering Futures Group brought back was a, a gold mine for the school. In the area of research, they've recommended uh, what we're calling an accelerator, a program to allow us to support fellows, senior fellows, postdoctoral fellows, graduate fellows. We have already dealt with the, the simple problems that can be solved in very small groups or by individuals. We must interact with other departments, within departments, with other schools and with other disciplines. On the education side, they've told us we have to go back and rethink the engineering core curriculum and incorporate not just a new sense of what we need to tell our students and what we need to teach our students, but there are many new ways to help our students learn. There's this opportunity to think about how we create truly humanist engineers that understand how we perform the design process as well as create technology that will be appropriate for society. It's clear that students are really clamoring for this hands-on lab experiences. People want to make things. People want to uh, create change. We have a terrific bottoms-up entrepreneurial culture in the school. It's been interesting to watch the mid-career faculty who grew up in a different interdisciplinary collaborative environment project their ideas of how that culture should evolve into the future. We want to diversify our School of Engineering community, but we need to reinvent how we approach this situation because despite all our best efforts, we still have a long ways to go. We have energy, we have enthusiasm, we have these great ideas, and we can start to make a difference with some of these ideas today, tomorrow. The Engineering School of the Future does not need to wait for 20 years to be achieved. We can start doing that now, and we're going to.